Hello, my soul searchers. It's Sunny. Welcome on and into Century of Kai K Soul Tarot. Really appreciate you all being here. We're getting on to the for Scorpio. Why don't y'all take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel? Really appreciate it when you all do. If you're new here, welcome on in. Where you have therefore been put on notice of the requirement to love yourself mercilessly. To my current subscribers, I love you all so much. Thank you for tuning in as always. Love Unlimited to you all on your magnificent journey. If you're looking for a personal reading, it's the very first link at the top of the channel. Please do select that link. and It'll take you directly to my uh, website, to the store, and you can select the reading of your choice. Uh, we will begin here, as we always do, uh, taking a review of the center of the heart sphere, and we will let the spirit lead us over to go. Uh, what's happening for Scorpio, please? Okay, for Scorpio spirits. I feel like some of you may be really tired right now. I don't know. I just end up feeling getting tired. Um, I like this very lethargic type of energy. Uh, you guys might be working a lot right now. Overextending yourselves. I really see that. Um... You're being protected right now. You have the shield of the infinite souls. What's this? Hmm. The stars have surrounded you. Yeah, a lot of protection right now. Um, you're being you're in this. You do have this healing energy surrounding you. You this healing energy, and it's about something you've been uh you can kind of dwelling in this side of this frozen spirit here. Yeah, sleeping with myself, the enemy. Yeah, you know, stricken by something you're in pain about. You know, the refuge and and the refusal of belonging. Mm. This could be about somebody, your soulmate here, or somebody you're dealing with intimately here. Within you, I made nothing. Unless this is could be... I just don't feel that's the energy you're feeling about yourself, though. I mean, well, yeah. You could definitely be feeling like that, though, about yourself right now, Scorpio. You could be getting tired of your own self right now. Because we have dwelling inside of the frozen spirit and then sleeping with myself, the enemy. Within you, I made nothing. Stricken by pain, doppelganger. You keep reliving the pain of the past. But there's definitely something you're hurting over now. But then you have the great gasp at the bottom of the deck. So you're really, really desperate for air. It's like you feel suffocated here. By this pain, by these feelings of hopelessness. What is going on in your energy? Yeah, you know, the incomprehensible self, the blood of the agonies of Satan, the calling of the soul of souls, the attempt of the self and selves to control, deny, and insulate the identifiable invisible self. Yeah, see, you're just self sabotaging here. That's what's going on in your energy. There's a lot of self sabotaging energy going on. Let's get more information here. What's going on with Scorpio? Um, let's see. <clears throat> What's going on with Scorpio, please? What's going on here is for Scorpio? Get this confirmation. Paper cold. <laughs> Y'all miss my sexy husband. <laughs> he come down here with his beautiful self. My Lord. <laughs> Let me tell you something, y'all. <laughs> when your husband walks by, that's an instant uplift. <laughs> Soul Sojourners. <laughs> Ooh, praise your Lord for my husband. Okay, what's going on in Scorpio's energy? We're going to get clarification, you guys, on um, what's happening in your energy right now. Because, like I say, there's a lot of self-sabotaging going on. And you could be doing some things here and making some decisions here, Scorpio. 
um, that you're tired of making and tired of doing that you know is really, um, I'm hearing not good for you. You're making decisions that you know aren't good for you. Um, but it may be like a pastime type of thing or temporary satisfaction or quick fix type of thing. And it's, and it's all for you to um, hide yourself from dealing with what you really need to deal with. Because we have, out of all of this, the incomprehensible self here, which is the direct adversary to the, uh, the identifiable invisible self, which is the true nature of who you are, um, that's trying to come out. So, let's see. Going on. Or Scorpio. What's going on for my Scorpios at this time, please? Shields of the Infinite Souls. Yeah, what did I say, Scorpio? Pursuing the pseudo-self mission. See, that's what I'm saying. See, you're not... There's this rejection of... See, whatever it is you're doing, you're pursuing the pseudo-self. This is not who you are. See? And this is really... Um, major to be showing up for confirmation for the Shield of the Infinite Souls. See, you're being shielded from some demonic forces here. You're being shielded from some dark energies that are re that are partially responsible here. Because, of course, if you don't know, the adversary is able to infiltrate you uh, by utilizing your own soul here, which is the adversary to the spirit. So that's how we get to this the pseudo-self mission, right? Because you're feeding energies... Um, for temporary satisfaction, right? Or for this pseudo self mission, this false reality. You're serving a false mission, a false reality. And it's not, but you have assistance here. You're being guided away from this energy. And you're also being protected right now. Yeah, we have given yourself the self acceptance you so deserve. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Like I said, there's that healing energy. Yeah, the stars have surrounded you. That's a that's a card of healing. Um, so you're healing yourself right now. Uh, confirmation for dwelling inside of the frozen spirit. Motivation. Yeah, see, you're 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 um, you've been doing a lot of soul searching here and deep thinking about your motivations. You're asking yourself, what is my motivation behind doing this? You know, I'm making, I'm doing the same thing over and over again. I'm making these same decisions. What is my real true motivation here? What is my main goal? I hear you asking yourself that. And that's why you've been feeling like you're just sleeping with yourself, your, the enemy. You know, sleeping with myself, the enemy. You are holding yourself responsible here. And, you, you know, there's a lot of self-afflicted, pain based on this um blame this self blame and self ideology i'm i'm the spirit just told me that um so you're being called to check your motivations here okay confirmation for sleeping with myself the enemy feeling lost without reason yeah see quick is nonsense scorpio why are you doing that to yourself? You're not the end. See, you, you need to answer the call to spirit, saying, thus the cells will be identified. That's why, the, wow, can you believe that would show up right above the incomprehensible self? Yeah, see, there's this rejection of truth. That's why you're feeling lost, because you're refusing to accept that, you know what, I can change, I can stop doing this. I can move myself and charter myself to a different way of thinking here. And I don't have to dwell on um, the past. 
because right here, the pseudo self mission is right here in conjunction to the stricken uh, by pain, pain's doppelganger card here. So you keep reliving the pain, reliving the pain of the past. Yeah, deep, deep. Oh wow, we have deep dark secrets at the bottom of the deck in the reverse. Yeah, there's some deep dark secrets here that have been uncovered here from your past. You may be, um, <clears throat> you may be in fear of some deep dark secrets being found out. But with that card being in reverse, I really feel like um, you there may have been some deep dark secrets that have been filled, spilled out here, and people may be gasping about that, you know. And this also doesn't help with you getting past the pain of the past. Um, or like I say, you definitely could be feeling like you, there are some secrets here that you don't want known. And for a lot of you, that is the case. Yeah. You need to shift the trajectory of your thoughts here. Stop thinking about the past, Scorpio. What is going on here? Get your head out of the past. <clears throat> and, 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 and see, there's this deep feeling here of, of you not belonging, no matter what you do. going on for my Scorpios. It's too, what's this? Too many cores. Going on for my Scorpios, please. Let's divine truth, please. Okay. Always know that you are someone special. Look at the spirit. My goodness, Scorpio, you got, you guys are amazing. You guys and gals are amazing. Stop it now. With this, you are amazing. And you know, don't you give me a Sunday store preaching now. <laughs> don't do not do this, Scorpio. Because you give yourself the love that you deserve. You out here working hard as hell. I mean, come on, y'all. I know it's my Scorpios. Now stop playing. <laughs> y'all y'all don't be playing, y'all be about the, about the money. Um, within you, I have made nothing. Yeah, see, that's how you've been feeling. You feel this way about yourself. There's this deep, and you know something, Scorpio, nobody would know this. No one would know that you feel like this. That there, there's something, and, and it really has something to do with these deep, dark secrets here that I saw. There's something about your past, some deep, dark secrets from the past, that you yourself, I really feel... Um, and this is for the select few of you here, or the the uh, Scorpios that I'm talking to. They're going to know one who I'm talking to. But um, I really, truly feel that these are not deep, dark secrets for a lot of you that anybody even knows. I mean, I feel you're very good at keeping these secrets, you know. Um, and you're very good at uh, putting on a brave face and all of that. But internally, you're suffocating. You're, you're dying on the inside here. You're telling yourself that you're nothing because of these secrets. Whatever it is that you've done in your past, you're holding and harboring those things and holding them against yourself, Scorpio. Again, see, seeking your divine purpose and destiny within the Earth Realm experience. Yeah, see, your, your, your motivations are changing. See, you're changing right now, Scorpio. That's what's going on. You're tired of the same old, same old. The ring around the rosy type deal. You're tired of seesawing through life. And this is why you're going through this. You know, you're having to deal and draw up the pain of the past and deal with it, though. You're not drawing up and then start shedding a tear and then start blaming yourself and all that. None of that's going to do you any good. What you got to do here is you got to confront these secrets here and forgive yourself, Scorpio, and let it go. And then, you see, because your motivations are changing. See, oh, I'm sorry, just move this table. Um, your motivations are changing. Who you were a year ago, 
five years ago, ten years ago. That's not who you are and who you're getting ready to become. That's not who you want to be. Your motivations are changing, and that's why you're feeling like this. Incomprehensible self, please. What was happening? We had okay. Yeah, fifteen oh five just showed up on the clock. That's change, and you're at the beginning stages with that zero in the middle of that fifteen oh five. Um, discovering the truth concerning yourself and the account of your life thus far. What did I say? The spirit never lies, Scorpio. And I don't know who needs to hear this message, but it's div divinely personal for some, a lot of you. Um, see, yeah, you're desiring the truth concerning yourself. There may be some, for some of you, the spirit did just show me, um, for some of you, there may be some deep, dark secrets here that you are led on to. I mean, of course, you have your own personal fight you're dealing with with it. But there may be some deep, dark secrets you could be concerned with involving other people. See? And you may be at trying to find those things out, too. And that could be anybody. Family, friends, um, lovers, whatever the case. But you, there's something here hidden that you're trying to find out, too. I see that in your reading. Um, I'm going to move all these right now. Well, no, it's not. I'll leave them. Um, sorry, Scorpio. Let's get further confirmation here. What's going on for Scorpio spirits? What's going on for Scorpio? Okay, why is pseudo uh, self mission here? Yeah, see, Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. See, you're seeing that this is not this how how you've been carrying on your initial plan and all that. And this may even be your plan up until now for your whole life, Scorpio. You see that that's not working for you anymore. See? And very quickly, things are going to change. See? Uh, with the chariot at the bottom of the deck. Um, Cancerian energy. Things are going to change. And that's going to end up reversing some a tower moment in your life. Why well, is giving yourself the acceptance you so deserve? Yeah. See, so you've been rejecting yourself. Look at that. You've been rejecting yourself here. And it's, look at your arms crossed. But your wish fulfillment is, you see, you've been blocking your own wish fulfillment. Isn't that something? Because <laughs> you wouldn't accept the truth, Scorpio. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Mm-hmm. Spirit never lies. Motivation. What's Scorpio going? What's going on with Scorpio's motivations here? See, you weren't committed to yourself. See, you you see, you've been in this in and out type of energy. See. <coughs> Yourself too thin here, Scorpio. That's what I can see, especially with the dwelling inside the frozen spirit of motivation. See, that's why your motivations are changing because you're stretching yourself too thin here. You, you're doing a little bit too much of everything. You're doing a little bit of that over here, a little bit of that over there, a little bit of this and that over there, and it's not enough for you to go around. You know, you're not a circus. Stop playing. Uh, and see, don't quit letting these people. Um, place all these demands on you, Scorpio. You got to be over here. You got to be over there. You got to do this. You got to do that. What is going on here? <laughs> Are they playing games with you? <laughs> See, that's why you're feeling lost because you stress too thin. You are stressed way too thin right now, your energy, Scorpio. You're stressed too thin. 
confirmation. Okay. Yeah, see, you were blinding yourself here. See, two of swords energy. You didn't want to see the truth. And that's actually been um, causing, look at this, the Ace of Pentacles, Major Arcana, in reverse. It's been causing things to not go in your favor. You've been missing opportunities that you could have been getting. But see, your justice is coming in, though. Balancing of the scales. Here goes your protection. There's your, your protection angel. A balancing of the scales is coming. Let me look at the bottom of the deck here. Yeah, there's been some grief and sadness here in the energy. Definitely could be uh, some of that grief and, grief and sadness could be concerning your soulmates. The two of cups is still standing, so the love is still there. Um... Uh, let me see here. Yeah, see, you decided to stand in your truth. Two of Pentacles to the King of Swords. Yeah. Which is what's catapulted you into chang and changing uh, and shifting the trajectory of your thoughts here. About your pain, about the past. Because there's a lot of pain from the past. Let's talk about there's a lot of pain from the past, but there are deep, dark secrets from the past, too. So this is, there's two halves of what's going on. Shift the trajectory of your thoughts, please. Confirmation. Oops. Ace of Cups. Wow. Look at that love that's been showered on you. Ace of Cups. I mean, you're giving yourself the love that you deserve. You're giving your... I can see you filling up your cup. Um, this Ace of Cups also could represent your soulmate too here. Um, and then loving you very deeply. Because I see this person wanting to reach out to you or communicate with you. You guys could be together if you're separated. Of course, that means they're going to reach out very quickly here. But if you're still together... Um, maybe the communication has been off between the two of you, but it's coming together here very quickly with the Eight of Wands. There's been no betrayal. That's very important for you to know. We have Ten of Swords in the reverse. So there's been no major betrayal or anything. This seems to be here, um, and I'm talking about your soulmate right now, to be here, this person rushing in with communication to, to write what's been going wrong between you two and the home. It could be a marriage. I just saw the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. Um, confirmation for always know that you're someone special. It was confirmation spirits. Okay. Yeah. Wow. There's just so make there. Six of Cups. Always. See that? Oh, wow. Isn't that beautiful, Scorpio? Wow. This is what they want to say to you. To always know that you're someone special. That's beautiful. I love that. Your soulmate should be a reading for you. Give you support. That is major. Look at all that love. And you are very, very held. Very much so held in high regard here. Well, your soulmate here, um, Scorpio. They love you very much. There, wow, there's the judgment at the bottom of the deck. There's the angel of protection. Mm -hmm. Confirmation for seeking your divine purpose. Empress. Wow, look at you. This is Taurus energy. The Empress embodies all of the queens of the entire tarot deck. Only Taurus has that. Um, which, I mean, you're being very loyal to yourself here. Loyal to your commitments now. I mean, you're moving from, I mean, this is, look at this. You're moving from Knight of Wands, the least favorite knight of the entire deck, in my opinion. This is like player energy, non-committal type of stuff. Um... But you're moving, this is your energy, so you're moving from being all over the place and not committed to any one thing here to being very loyal. I see you shifting here. You, you've changed your perspective and you've changed your motivations here. You know what you want, Scorpio. 
And I see you being very loyal, loving, mothering here. Very concerned about everything. I see you changing a lot. Um, and, and for the definite better to be showing up as the Empress. And this showed up for confirmation for seeking your divine purpose and destiny within the earth realm. Let's get confirmation on, um, yeah, powerful reconciliation here on the rise. Um, discovering the truth concerning yourself and the account of your past, of your life thus far. What's going on for my Scorpios? Scorpio. Hold on for Scorpio, please. Yeah. See, you're not conflicted anymore. See, there was a lot of internal conflict in your energy. We have the five of wands in the reverse. Um, but you're coming out of that. Because you're, you're, look at this. The seven of pentacles is you in review of your motivations. Like I said, you're, you're concerned more about where you're investing your time, who you're investing your time with, what you're investing your money in, what business endeavors you're investing yourself in. You know, okay, well, if I invest in that business endeavor, what am I going to really gain from that? Or, I mean, you're really, really um, getting, by you getting out of this conflicting energy, you're really um, doing the work here. Because you recognize things haven't been going in your favor. See, the Wheel of Fortune is showing up in the reverse. See, and you're, by you discovering these truths and holding yourself accountable, it, it, this is shifting everything here. It's shifting everything for you. Yeah, wow. What did I say? The Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. The struggle has reached its max, Scorpio. It's over. <laughs> Look, you got the strength. Your heart is being strengthened. Leo energy. Yeah, look at that very powerful. You are rising very powerful here. Nine of Pentacles energy. And you could be doing a lot on your own or, or just, um, of course, we know you're not alone right now. Some of you may be. Of course, you know, this is a general reading. Um, but... I see you being very self-sufficient. That's what I'm getting from this card's energy. Being very self-sufficient and very proud of the progress that you've made. So give yourself a pat on the back here, Scorpio, if you haven't been. Yeah. Okay, Scorpio, this is all I have for you all today. I really appreciate you all. I'm going to let you guys go. Um, but I love you all so much. Uh, so much love and respect for you all on your magnificent journey. I thank you for spending time here with me because you could be anywhere else, but you did decide to tune in here. So for that, I am very humble and very appreciative of your time and what a blessing and honor it is to be a part of your journey. Um, please do take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate it for you all too. And please do share for anyone who needs to hear this message. Don't forget to click that link at the top of the channel if you are looking for personal reading because I am available. But until the next reading, I love you guys so much. Um, many blessings and abundance to you all on your magnificent journey. Um, and um, I will see you all on the next reading. Bye for now.